Tell us a little bit about um, your experience or your knowledge about working with people with certain, um, you know, issues around sex. Oh yeah, and and I was going to mention that too. You know, we there's this lonely man trope thing, and those are obviously there, but there's a lot of other things. You know, a lot of other people that that need service, whether it's just education. I don't I don't know how this works. I don't know what to do. Um, I have no idea how to you know, take care of a woman or please a woman or something. And they just want to know so they can be a better lover when they find their partner or something. Um, you know, people that are disabled or, um, have other gaps in, in connecting with people. Um, even somebody just, um, like in a wheelchair may have a harder time getting out dating and finding people and may not have, um, physical issues per se, or they may. And it's just like, why can't we just connect in the ways that we find that work for us, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, whatever's in the way, whether it's, you know, somebody that's too busy and doesn't have time to date. And there's plenty of those, um, that aren't somehow, you know, disabled or otherwise. Um, but there's also couples that want to explore and play with things together. There's people that, you know, want to learn and grow, or there's people that want to sit and talk, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you talked about how um, studies show that about five minutes uh, is dedicated to sex. And if one is paid for an hour or more, that really opens up the rest of the time slot. Right. What to, else are we doing? What else are you going to do? You're going to talk, right? I, I, that was one of the best um, parts of it to me when I was um, doing sex work was just the the stories, getting to know people, you know, and they just like want to talk. Oh, I had this, this thing. And, you know, we did this big meeting and I finally seen this thing I've been doing for seven years to fruition. And like, they're just cute and adorable with their little things they're proud of. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, how'd that go last week? How'd your meeting go? I'm so glad I got to see you so I could talk to you about it. Cause you were so excited. And they're like, you remembered, you know, and something like that is just more phenomenal to them than a job half the time mm-hmm. because I care, Yeah, you know? And so sometimes it's like, Hey, I'm just kind of lonely today do you want to come watch a movie with me and sometimes it's like do you just want to go look at the stars mm-hmm. you know and I don't want to do it by myself or you know I don't know there's just so many different yeah and in the end we're all just trying to connect yeah so many um sex workers that I've talked to have just have talked about how like conversation is like a majority of the session and um yeah that's just that 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 need to connect and um you, you actually touched on uh, an example that one of my Patreon members gave me um, who was in a wheelchair. And after I had interviewed a full sex worker, you know, wrote to me and said, you know, what, your conversation with this woman was so important. And I just want to say, like, from my own personal experience, you know, I'm in a wheelchair. And as much as, you know, I would like to meet a woman on my own and I would like to date. And let's just be realistic women generally don't want to date a guy in a wheelchair. Okay. So like, you know, we as the public have this idea of like, oh, you have to find like your woman on your own through your own merits. Well, some people don't have all of the benefits that the rest of us do. Some people have like some serious physical setbacks, which is really going to prevent them from meeting someone. And let's be honest, like meeting someone is hard enough as it is. So being in a wheelchair, having some other you know, boundary that you come up against is going to make it that much more difficult. And he was just saying, I would not be able to have intimate experiences with women if I didn't have full service workers that I could pay to have these experiences with. And he's like, it's so important for me. It's so important for my mental health to know that, you know, I can connect with a woman. I don't mind paying them. And, you know, I don't feel like they only like me because I'm giving them money. Like it, it really helps fulfill a need that I have. And it's so important to me. And thank you for touching on that. And I was like really moved by that because here's, you know, a person, a perfect example of somebody who can't just like go out and meet a woman on his own. You know, I mean, we just, we forget about these people who have, you know, these issues that really prevent them from meeting somebody. Yep. It's sad. Yeah. I mean, there's, whole movement of abolitionists wanting to shut down the industry. And it's like, what does that do though? Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're not looking at what's actually causing this, you know, where's this coming from? There's people that need, um, money and jobs and, you know, some, some freedom of their income and, and these things. And there's other people that have a need for a service. Why it, that's the ultimate capitalist ideal, right? Like why can't we match a demand with a, with a supply? And, um, I mean, it's going to happen whether it's on Tinder or, 
you know, a sex work site and yeah, who are we going to leave in the lurches if everything's shut down? Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.